has obviously been around for centuries. Um, also for centuries, it's really been cr collected by the ultra wealthy, right? Like even if you, if you even if you go back hundreds of years, um, this is the the first time that art really can be purchased and owned by anyone. So from our perspective, it's it's not necessarily a commoditization of of the object. It's really just a way for anyone to participate in the acquisition process. Very simply, investors can can come to our website. They can view different works of art that that we have available for investment and they can invest amounts as small as $500 or as large as thousands of dollars um, in a particular painting. When you look at the art market last year, $68 billion in art was sold. Um, most of those objects are, are culturally significant and they, they are going into private collections and they're going away from, from public view. And depending on the collector, I would say the majority of collectors in today's world don't actually lend those objects out. So a great feature of the Masterworks platform is the ability to keep, keep those objects um, in front of the public. We like the idea of once we purchase these paintings and then sell them off to investors to re-loan them out to museums. In Masterworks, our perspective has, has been that art is an uncorrelated asset class, meaning that it doesn't necessarily go in the same direction as the stock market or, or, or other asset classes. So what, we, what we've seen with COVID is that although there's been a, a large decrease in the total volume of sales by, by roughly half, um, we've actually seen art prices increase. And I think in June alone, we saw 22 artists that set price records. For example, many people use IRA or retirement accounts to invest in these paintings. So we wanna make sure that the returns are as, as predictable as possible and the risk is reasonable. Obviously, most of our most of the people that are on the Masterworks platform today are doing that for investment, mm -hmm. but I think it does change how artists think about um, selling their work. You know, over time, we can see a world where artists would prefer to have a thousand people who who enjoy their work and know their work very well own a painting rather than than one person who who's frankly very wealthy and takes it out of circulation. But the common question around that is why why would art prices be increasing during during COVID? And, and our best guess is that, that our prices continue to be correlated to the top 1%. So as the top 1% become wealthier, we see our prices go up. So for better or for worse, that, that dynamic has continued in, independent of COVID.